cardboard chess will conquer any rival. What board game do you like? Table Roblox Soccer, Basketball, Golf, Chess, and even a Fortnite Llama? And all of this is made out of cardboard. Learn everything about your favorite DIY cardboard games. Nothing can distract Stevie from playing Fortnite. Our gamer can't hear anything at all. Then we will have to use a llama trap. Llama, sit! Cut two pieces with slanted edges out of cardboard. Score the bending lines with a utility knife and fold up the sides. Hot glue rectangular and square walls to both strips. Attach pieces of wooden spatulas to the square side. Fasten one spatula perpendicularly. Stick in a wooden skewer. Remove the excess with cutting pliers. Hot glue shortens spatulas to the skewer as an axis. Attach the piece on top of the other piece. Hot glue spatulas into a base of a trigger mechanism. Assemble a detail out of spatulas. Join them with a piece of a wooden skewer and fasten it to the base perpendicularly. Hot glue a handle. Put the mechanism into the base. Join the parts of the mechanism with rubber bands. Add cardboard ears. Color the llama with acrylic paint. Cut through a tennis ball and make eyes. Put in cardboard teeth. Attach a cardboard tongue inside the mechanism. Click, click! And Stevie falls for the llama trap. What is this purple predator? This is a new accuracy game. You need to throw a ball into the llama's mouth. Stevie gets carried away by the game. This Fortnite llama trains accuracy better than video games. Christy has no clue that it's pouring rain outside. Stevie is soaking wet. He really wanted to play soccer. Wipe off your tears of disappointment, my friend. I have a Roblox soccer set for rainy days. Make a rectangular field with short walls out of cardboard. Paint it white. Apply green paint on top. Decorate the sides with Roblox tiles printed on sticker paper. Add soccer field markings. Put wooden skewers onto cocktail straws. Cut off the excess. Hot glue soccer gates out of the sticks. Attach a printed picture of fans onto cardboard. Draw a circle at the bottom and cut it out. Hot glue cardboard supporters to the edge of the field and attach the piece with fans. Make a cardboard stick. Put it into the hole and attach a goalkeeper. Make a base out of a few layers of cardboard to launch a ball. Make a tunnel for a pencil. Mark the ends of the tunnel on the pencil. Make holes through the marked spots using an awl so they are perpendicular. Insert pieces of a wooden skewer into them. Put the pencil into the base. Stick in pieces of skewer on both sides of the tunnel. Cut a hole in front of the tunnel. Place the mechanism onto the field opposite the gates. Stick a pencil into the hole and mark the spot on the field. Cut a hollow there and put in a piece of a straw. Attach the mechanism to it. Put two rubber bands onto the skewers to get a bowstring. Attach a soccer player on top of the launching mechanism. Put a ball and hit it with the pencil. Let's play soccer! Stevie has to kick a penalty. Yay! Goal! But Christy comes up with a trick. She turns the goalkeeper. No ball can pass through. Then Stevie invents a way to deceive the lying goalkeeper. He kicks the ball from above and scores a goal. Victory! A noble chess tournament starts. Our gentlemen begin their Dota contest. 
Draw a chessboard on a sheet of cardboard. Shade the squares with a black marker. Label the squares with figures and letters. Cut out printed Dota characters. Make cardboard squares. Add a cut in the middle. Insert a character. Make the needed amount of chess pieces. Sir Steven opens the game. He moves his pawn with confidence, but Lord Chris successfully answers his move. The game is in full swing. There is an actual Dota fight on the field. Sir Steven wins. Steve decides to keep his honorable mustache. Redhead is playing cup basketball. But drowning a ball in a cup is a thing of the past. Stevie suggests something cooler. Cardboard basketball. Cut a base for a game field out of cardboard. Attach printed basketball court markings to it. Cut an arch on a base out of cardboard. And add a picture of fans. Attach the stands to the sides of the field. And fasten an empty wall. Hot glue halves of circles together to make a catapult. Cut off a slanted edge. Attach it to a cardboard circle at a right angle. Cut a half circle in a wooden spatula. Do the same on another spatula to get a circle. Join them together with wooden planks. Hot glue it to the base of the catapult. Cut a cardboard arch following a template. Hot glue three of them together. That's the stand for a basketball hoop. Cut out a platform for a hoop. Mark and cut out the hole. Attach an additional layer at the bottom. Hot glue the stand into the hole. Make a cardboard shield with a rounded side. Attach a printed basketball label. Cut out a base for a basketball hoop with two holes. Poke holes around the perimeter with an awl. Attach more layers with a hole to make it stable. Assemble the entire piece together. Pass thick thread through the holes. Weave a net. Put the ring onto the field. Place a ball onto the catapult. Aim the ball. Shoot! Redhead throws the ball into the next apartment. And Stevie gets three points for his shot. Where are his fans? A serious game is about to happen. The girls are ready for the tournament. Mini golf is no joke. Draw a layout on a sheet of cardboard. Add a circle with compasses. Draw a smaller circle in it. Add rectangles near it. Cut a hole in the center. Separately cut out cardboard strips of different lengths. These are partitions. Attach the partitions to the back. Shape a tunnel under the hole and walls around the perimeter. Turn the field over. Attach walls along the markings and around the perimeter of the round field. Coat the field with acrylic primer. Color it green on top. Make an obstacle out of rectangular pieces of cardboard. Attach a spiral wall around the hole. Cut the edges of a wooden spatula at an angle. Attach the pieces to a wooden skewer shaping a golf club. Place a little ball onto the cardboard ring and put it at the beginning of the field. Redhead sends the ball straight into the hole. What a perfect result! But Christy decides to make the game harder. She has an additional obstacle. Christy's ball falls into the mini hole despite all the curves on the field. Difficulties can't scare young golf players. Redhead is counting her savings and Christy suggests an interesting game. Let's count coins using the fun game Plinko. 
Draw rectangles on cardboard. Cut it. Hot glue a strip with cells and partitions. Attach walls on every other cell. Color the cardboard with acrylic paint. Cut a wooden stick into little pieces with cutting pliers. Hot glue them to the cardboard. Cover them with a wooden coffee stir. Make two pieces. Cut a game field out of cardboard. Attach walls and partitions. Fill the field with hooks. Attach pieces of a wooden stick. Color the cells to match the boxes. Cover the game field with clear plastic. Cut out and fasten the parts of the stand with a support beam for the game field. Put in the boxes. Place the field on top. Add flags for two players. Put a coin into the field. The friends put in coins, one after the other. They wonder which box will have more coins and who will be the winner. Christy got more coins! Yay! But she will still have to give all the coins back to Redhead. It's a fair game! Did you like our board games made out of cardboard? Then let us know in the comments which fun game you want to play with your friends. And don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new fun board games on Troom Troom.